think that was a correct call by Martin Dinkin. Horace doesn't think so. Horace thinks he was thrown down, apparently. Dinkin made a motion with his hand behind his head as though Forrest had been hit behind the head, but then called it an knockdown. It was the previous level that did the damage. You're exactly right, Forrest. hand might have landed on the shoulder but it was enough to go to make Forrest go down and it cost Forrest a round which he had won up to that moment copy box numbers in the round Forrest 15 out of 51 Mayorga 7 out of 48 but Mayorga gets the round because of the knockdown now Forrest comes back with his left hook and Mayorga trades punches with him and they're gonna have a war this is not the fight that Vernon Forrest wanted saying, Vernon, don't back up. George, when you back up against a guy like Mayorga, what's the danger? Well, you don't want to back up in any fight. You got to circle your guy. You circle him around and around and around. You back up, you can get caught. But if you circle backwards, it's a different thing. demonstrated to this guy, look, you talk, you're strong, but I got something too. Uh, I think you're right, George, that he wanted to come out in this round and let him know that that knockdown at the end of the last round is not going to be the story of this fight. And that's what a real top fighter does. You got to get back out there and have that right hand by far. Forrest has been told by Ronnie Shields to go straight at Mayorga and he'll have no problems. He needs to be aggressive behind the jab. Mayorga promised to go to the body and continues to try to do so, although obviously his biggest urge is to fire bombs upstairs. Another great uppercut by Forrest, and he landed a right hand. The rest is the right hand. Forrest begins to beat him with the jab. Yeah. There was a good body shot by Forrest in there. Andy takes another left hand, or Mayorga takes another left hand, right on the top. And it's a big round for Vernon Forrest. And an untold story about Vernon Forrest. He's got heart. He's intending to be, get some respect tonight. It may cost him a little bit, but he's not backing off. Well, since Mosley wasn't able to do much with Forrest, we haven't really seen Vernon amid adversity. And that knockdown at the end of round one was enough to bring out the Tiger in the champion. Good left hook by Mariano. Right uppercut by Forrest. Vernon seems to sense that if he can land one big shot, he can send Mayorga back south. Great left hook by Forrest. Mayorga just takes the combination and says, hit me more. This is like a free fight. In which one fighter has skills and the other fighter is just waiting in. And the guy with skills is trying to figure out how do you fight this guy. I want you to listen. Who's the guy right to me? Listen to me. You stay right there in the center with this guy. You understand? Look. Pick you with the jail. Pick you with the jail. Go to the body. That's all. But just try to hit him in the head. You go break the damn head. Hit him on top of the head. You understand? Hey, that black guy, he hits hard. When he hits you like that, make sure you do something at the jab. Early in the round, Mayorga went at Forrest, and Forrest stood there and went right back at him. And later in the round, Forrest was in command. That uppercut. 
may have been the punch that Mayorga was saying that, hey, this guy can fight and punch. In round two, by CompuBox numbers, Vernon Forrest landed 32 out of 79 punches, 22 of 44 power shots. Mayorga, 18 of 71. So Vernon wins the second round to level the scales a little bit after a 10-8 round for Mayorga in the first. And the last thing on your mind is that you got to fight for the money. <laughs> George's reference is this is the first fight of a six-fight deal between Vernon Forrest and HBO. Mayorga's left blocked by Forrest's glove. Now Mayorga is, Mayorga is going to the body, too. He's acting like a box of landing shots. And ordinarily... Whoa, what an uppercut. Yeah. Mayorga says, I've got an uppercut, too. Forrest has made a very good adjustment by trying to catch Mayorga as he comes in with his uppercut. Another big right hand for Mayorga. Forrest is going to have to be brave in this fight. There's no other way against a guy like this. Body shot by Forrest. Right hand by Mayorga. Vernon counters with the right and busts him right in the guts. Big right hand by Mayorga. Forrest put in a good left hook a moment ago, and that hurt. Brennan wobbling on his feet as he threw the right hand. He goes down, goes down in the face of a crunching. And that, cross. At that time, he was seriously hurt. Yeah, look at the wobbling in Vernon Forrest. Marty Dickens stops the fight. Marty Dickens stops the fight. And Ricardo Mayorga has done it. Let's see Vernon Forrest come into the ring rapping the next time. He was celebrating his championship before he had a serious chance to defend it. George Foreman. But I told you, if you move his head, move his head and throw those big shots, he got a big chance to do it. He did it tonight. Vernon Forrest just caught off balance. We did not expect that kind of fight. And the, and the key was that Mallorca was able to take some serious punches Absolutely. from Forrest and stayed in there long enough and Forrest felt he had to fight him so it was Mayorga who dictated how the fight was being fought. You never fight a fighter, you box him. This guy, Vernon Forrest, started fighting a fighter. You don't do that. A puncher, you box him. Well, that was the biggest Forrest mistake. came out and started warring with him in round yeah, two. Once he, he got that knockdown, once he, once he was called for the knockdown, he just felt like he had to get in there and fight for his uh, reputation. At which point, George, you said, look at this, Forrest has great heart. Yeah. In retrospect, too much heart? Too much heart. Amen. No better. <laughs> I couldn't have said it any better. Too much heart. you got to have your skills and your trainer's advice. His trainer told him constantly, don't stand in the middle of the ring. Box, move around. When you're the better boxer, box. I don't understand how in the world he couldn't have known what Mayorga wanted to do. He only fights one way. I mean, there isn't there isn't another wrinkle in Mayorga's game. That's what he does. And Vernon Forrest got himself caught. i tell you one thing, that boy doesn't smoke cigarettes, as they say. He had energy galore. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the knockout and see how it happened. Here we go, George. He had landed a couple of big right crosses. See, There's another one. All night long, he's been doing that on the tip. But this time, he got him right flesh on the button. Here's flesh on the look. button. Through the left. Missed look the at left, that knee. That's the why right. the referee looked at it and said, look, maybe well, I'm going to stop this. And he stood and waved his finger back and forth in front of Vernon's face, looking at Forrest's eyes to see if they followed. And hey, I think it's a good stoppage. Forrest's legs were gone. He had almost broke his knee. You keep going back in against a guy like this, you could get hurt. No, you just got to box and move. That's your skill. You got to reach, take advantage of it. Mayorga closed the show, landing 16 of his last 32 power shots, including the series of brutal right hands that set that right hand shot up and produced an earthquake in the welterweight division because he got himself 
a new unified welterweight champion. That's what happens on HBO all the time. Indeed, Vernon Forrest's six-fight contract just came and went. <laughs> Don't sign those contracts. But it was a good entrance, as Larry said. Uh, he'll be back. He's got the skill. Oh, he's, he's a got good a fighter. Good he's a, he's yeah. a terrific fighter with a great following, but this just goes to show you anything